Okay, well, um, hello everyone and uh, and hello as well to um, those who are watching uh, after the fact on YouTube. Um, so uh, my name is Betsy Coe and I've been doing these Zoom sessions for about a year now. Um, I, I've been a member of Wikitree since, well, for four years. And uh, um, I, I joined because I was really um, intrigued by, well, actually I'll tell you, I, I one of my ancestors came up in a search hit and it took me to that their Wikitree profile and there were some research notes and it just seemed very thoughtfully done. So I said, Hey, I gotta, I gotta check this out and, um, ended up, um, you know, joining, signing the honor code. Um, and then, then it was a learning process, um, to figure out, you know, how to do the wiki code and, and, um, you know, set up profiles, um, you know, in the way that, you know, we, uh, we, we try to do on Wikitree with, you know, making them look nice and making them well sourced and collaboration. Um, I, so there's definitely a learning curve with Wikitree, but it's so worth it um, because the potential for collaboration with, with, um, cousins who are connected to you, um, you know, maybe, maybe 10th cousins, but, you know, you might be working together on a shared common ancestor is really um, one of the great things about the community. And just the fact that the community is worldwide and just, I've never seen a place like Wikitree for um, fostering community, even though we're all just connecting via, via the internet. Um, I, you know, I feel like I've really gotten to know people, which is cool. Yes, we are all cousins. I agree, Adri. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, and uh, let's see, in terms of where I spend my time on Wikitree, um, I'm in the England, Wales, and Scotland and Canada projects. Um, that sort of reflects my heritage on my, my maternal side. Um, and I'm also on the mentors project. And I do a lot with events planning. So I was really involved in the source -a-thon this past weekend. I do the Saturday morning live cast and um, helped with wiki games. So um, that that's where I that's where I live in the wiki tree palace. <laughs> um, so uh, so happy to have a nice big crowd tonight. My usual co-host Steve Greenwood wasn't able to make it, so um, but I think we'll we'll be just fine. Um, and Marilee, thank you so much for offering to uh, let us look at your profiles. And that doesn't mean that we can't look at other people's profiles. It's just that Marilee volunteered. Um, well, I think I think Mary's um, arrived now. So. Oh, really? Um, Mary, you were the one who also volunteered, right? Mary Kohler. Okay. Yeah. So Mary, I noticed was, um, was oh, here. And so I'm still planning on doing Sunday and all, you can still look at mine too, but we're both okay. here now. Okay. All right. Oh, and Hey, here's Mary. That's great. Um, uh, so yes, we'll look at Mary. How about we do this? We'll look at Mary's profiles and then uh, we'll leave room for questions and answers and, um, and, you know, other other things that pop up. And then uh, Marilee, thank you for your flexibility. We'll look at your profiles on Sunday. Um, and I do welcome Murray. I was I was worried you weren't gonna make it. Um, I just went through my introduction. Um, and can you introduce yourself as well? Because um, Murray's very active on Wikitree, knows a lot about DNA. Oh, you're muted. Yeah. Now you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Marie Maloney. I've been on Wikitree, I guess, three years, I think. And um, and I started out like probably most of you with a, with a GEDCOM file and trying to get jam my family into Wikitree and finding out that a lot of it was already there and, uh, and, and then going, you know, just keep learning and learning. Now, about a year ago, um it, it, well it wasn't a year ago they had something on wikitree that they're having right now it's called hacktoberfest and uh and i just started paying attention to that last year i, I i'm not a I'm not a hacker so i wasn't going to do anything but i started paying attention to it 
And as a result of that, I volunteered to be a writer. I, I, I write some of the um, instruction manuals for things like um, the fan chart program and the uh, Wikitree browser extension. And um, as was mentioned, I have some experience working with DNA. So I have um, several people in my family have had their DNA done and, and I um, have been devoted to trying to figure out my family for, for the past several years using, using the DNA. So I've learned uh, some of the tricks and which companies to, um, to get your DNA tested at and which ones to upload your DNA to and stuff like that. Um, so if you have any DNA questions later, um, I'm happy to answer them. Great. And back to you, Betsy. Okay. All right. Thanks, Murray. Um, so um, I'm what I'm going to do now is share my screen. And uh, we've got Mary, uh, Mary's profile up. Okay. And so Mary, you want to tell us um, what, what are, what's been challenging for you? Where are your questions? Is there a particular profile we should look at? Um, you're muted. Or are you, are you muted? Wait a minute. Is, oh, Mary, Mary, we can't hear you. Yes, she has tech support helping her now. Ah. It looks like. Okay. Um, well, we could, we could go over to Marilee's profiles. Okay. All right. Let's do that because I still have Marilee's, uh, profile up. Okay. Am I still muted? Oh, well, you're oh, good. Totally okay. Good. All right. We're mm -hmm. ready, Mary. What, what is, um, uh, what are your challenges and are there particular profiles you'd like us to look at? Um, have I lost Mary? We seem to have lost her video and uh, we can't hear her anymore. Yes. Okay. So oh, Mary, we're going to come back to you. Oh, no, here, here you are. Okay, Mary. Uh, I yes. can't see you, but that's fine. That's not necessary. So um, what should we look at for you or what questions do you have? Um. So one of my questions, I'm having a really hard time finding my dad's family, mm -hmm. and they're from Czechoslovakia and Ireland. Um, the U.S. stuff is easy to do, but yeah. the stuff from other countries, I have a really hard time with. Um, so, and then also how to put the references in. I've, I've put the, a lot of them in, but I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. Okay. Um, well, let's let's look. First of all, um, so if things look a little different on my screen compared to yours, um, for instance, seeing um, the the uh, family relationships over here to the right, um, that's because I'm using the WikiTree browser extension, um, which um, we can talk about a little bit. Um, it really does take your WikiTree experience up. Um, now we've got this ancestor button here. So if I click on that, it's going to show me, um, Mary's tree. Um, here she is over on the left. Um, and so now, despite what you're saying about having trouble finding your, your paternal side, you're, you're back, you're back to, uh, with some of your second great grandparents. So that's great. Um, is there one of these where you'd like us to take a look? Uh, how about Morgan Hayes? Morgan Hayes. Um, where is Morgan? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Born in Ireland, emigrated to the United States. Okay. And I see you have a brick wall with finding his family. 
Um, great. So you are using, Mary, you're already using inline citations, which is wonderful. Good for you. So um, just to explain what inline citations are is the fact that um, we've got the biography um, and um, make the statement, he was baptized uh, at this date and place. And then there's a little footnote and that that takes us to the to the source. So it's uh, inline citations are a way for us to um, specifically link a source and a fact that you are trying to to you know um, to prove. Um, and great, you've got his. Looks like you have a manifest passenger manifest. Um, okay. So are you using Sourcer, Mary, or how, how are you doing these? Uh, most of this is with Ancestry.com because I have a subscription to that. Okay, but, um, okay. So like, for instance, you, this 1870 federal census, um, have you actually seen the census? Yeah. You have, okay. Yeah. Let's see, or okay, we've got Morgan, and do we know, we don't know his wife's, we don't know the mother of Francis, John Francis? Um, I do have it on Ancestry.com, but I can't, I don't have any good sources for it, so I'm afraid to put it in WikiTree, because it seems like you want to have good sources there. Yeah, we do, we do. All right, let's, let's do this. Um, so... If you don't have Sorcerer, we can we can show both, but let's see if we can find the 18 Morgan's entry in the 1870 census uh, in family search. So this is very, very helpful. Under research, the lower right-hand corner, we're gonna do root search for Morgan Hayes. Um, now I'm gonna give you a, a caveat here. At this point, once you click on it, it may ask you, to log in a second time. Just log in again with your same WikiTree credentials. It's not, it's it's above board. It's just having to do with how, how this uh, app is sort of housed. Um, but the nice thing is that it fills in all the application, all the information that Mary already has, the dates, the places, and now we can search. Family search. I'm gonna go to family search just because that's um, that's free. You can get a free account and there's no paywall like there is with Ancestry or Find My Past. Uh, and let's see what we've got. 1880 census. See, these aren't necessarily him, right? That's true. That's very true. Um, where was he living in 1870? Um, I think at Nebraska at one point in time, but I'm not sure if he was there in 1870. I'd, I mean, because that's um, where he died, right? Nebraska. I think yeah. I um, and what was his death date? I should have taken a note there. Uh, let's see. He died somewhere between 1905 and 1909. Let's just look at this 1880 census. Oh, it's in New York. It might be him. Or does this seem like him? Yeah, that is him. That is him. That you is don't him. have find a grave, do you? Hmm. Yeah. No, no. Uh, Mary doesn't already have find a grave as a source, does she? I thought, but take a look. I no, she doesn't. Okay. No? Okay. Um, now, find a grave is is one of those um, sources where we want to we want to be a little cautious, as, particularly if there's not um, not a picture of the headstone. But look, there is. Okay, does that look right, Mary? Yeah, that's him. That's him. Okay. All right. So that's helpful. Um, and let's see if there's anything else. Well, you know, so it gives you the, um, his spouse's information and several so, more children. So is that valid information for that, for me to list Hannah as his spouse? Yeah, it's a good starting point. 
You know, I, I think you could use this to um, create a profile for her and, and then go from there. I, I mean, I wouldn't have it as the only source, but. But when they, when you put in a spouse, it always asks for their marriage date. And I don't always have those. Right. How do you. That's okay. If you, you can leave that blank. You can. Yeah, you can. Mary, can I ask a couple of questions? Sure. So presumably you have a tree on ancestry, right? Right. And so what you could do, right? You can, you can add this, this find a grave citation to him. And in your tree on ancestry, you can add Honora. Yeah. She's then, in my tree. And then you can, you can search for hints on Honora at ancestry. Right. And, 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 and odds are good. You're going to find a birth certificate, a marriage license and, and all of that right now that you know her name. Uh, I haven't oh. had any luck. Really? Yeah. They, they well, were then one of these Ireland. days we're going to have a party. What, what was that? One of these days we're going to have a party and go digging for those call on John Tyner and. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'll call on the Pro Ireland project folk. Yeah. Well, let me just show you. Um, so Sorcerer, um, you can tell that I have the Sorcerer extension because I have this little one up here. So um, all I'm going to do uh, while I'm on the page is I'm going to click on that and it gives me options. Now you can use Sorcerer to search, but in this case, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, ooh, Build an inline citation. I'm going to carry on with what you did. Now, in less than a second, it is created a citation and saved it to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to Morgan. Um, is it is it okay for me to add that? Please. All right. So I'm going to edit. And let's see. Um, he passed away in 1907. Do we have more? Do we have passed away May 13th, 1907? So let's, let's, uh, I passed away on May 13th, 1907 in Nebraska. Do you have a, was there a town in Holt, Nebraska? Right. Oh, that's Hel Holt. Atkinson. Atkinson, and that you might want to look for a death certificate. Um, Atkinson, um, Nebraska. In my experience, when you're in the rural Midwest, yeah, there you, uh, uh the find a grave death area is usually accurate within maybe. 50 to 100 miles unfortunately uh, -huh. yeah. uh uh and especially if they're near a county line uh mm. i have one side of my family where the people will get married in a church in one county and then register with the county that is county that they actually live in which is less than two miles apart uh mm. so it becomes very complicated in that yeah. But it is the same area. So sometimes you can just put type in, he died in, I don't know, Allegheny County, New York. I just made that up. That's probably a county. It mm -hmm. sounds about right. <laughs> um, uh, and then go back later and be like, oh, I guess he was actually, he, he died in Johnston. But he that's because he died at the Johnston Community Hospital when in actual, he he was living at the time mm -hmm. in Carlson. Right, right. So, so it. Um, and here's, here's how we can get around that. He passed away on May 13, 1907, and is buried at what cemetery? Um, St. Joseph Cemetery. And we, I'm going to show you something cool with that too. Um, at St. Because that, that's clear that he was buried there, cemetery in Atkinson. So now, for those of you who are not used to doing inline citations, I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that fact that I've just stated, 
and it's going to say, cite your source. And now I'm going to remember I had the citation in the clipboard. I'm just going to command V. And oh, you know what? I it double it created two of these. <laughs> it, Sorcerer is so slick. You don't even have to press that button. So I'm going to get rid of those. Okay. Now it is my preference to get rid of those breaks because I just think it makes it look a little cleaner. Um, and now what we can do is preview it. And there it is. It's um, number three. And okay. Um, so we, we've added a source. We're going to full save. Now, in terms of St. Joseph Cemetery, um, let's talk about categories because that's a that's another very um, valuable way you can connect with with other relatives on Wikitree. Um, I'm going to uh, go to a. I'm going to go. I bookmark this. So. Um, and maybe I can I can put put it in the um, chat for everybody. American cemeteries, um, category U.S. cemeteries. So I just um, I'm going to put this in the chat, and um, let's see how can I get to the chat. Murray, could you put it in the chat? Yeah, just a sec. Okay, thank you. I can't seem to. I'm clicking on chat. Oh. Oh, wait, I got it. Oh. There we go. Okay, so um, I think that this is very useful for bookmarking because I tend to be looking for cemeteries in the United States. Um, and I can show you how, I mean, maybe you're looking for cemeteries in England most of the time. And in that case, you'd want to book, bookmark something slightly different. But um, now here I am and I've got the states. So I'm going to go to Nebraska. Now it's I need to know the county, which is Holt. Your chat is over the screen, by the way. My chat is, oh, okay, thank you. Um, I don't, is it still? Nope. Okay, all right. Um, so let's see, up, ah, there we go. St. Joseph Cemetery. Okay, so what that means is that um, if people have categorized these, all the people in this list have wiki, are buried in St. Joseph Cemetery. Wow. And, and have a Wikitree profile. So now, if we go back to Morgan's profile, we go into edit mode, and we're gonna use this little sort of branch thing, categorize. Now you can categorize by cemetery, by uh, profession, by a place where they lived, um, by an event that they were involved in. There are so many ways to, to sort. But now I'm going to just go St. Joseph Cemetery. It's going to autofill. Uh, and let's see. Atkinson. Yeah. At, there it is. Okay. I found it. Thanks, Mary. And it's notice that it's going to add um, uh, above the biography that um, that it's in the, in the, um, He's in this category. Now this sticker, you can tell that it's a sticker because it has the uh, double curly brackets. That really should be below the biography line. Okay. Not, not a huge deal, just a $10 fine. Kidding, <laughs> <laughs> but let's do that. Okay, so um, there we go. And so there actually is a categorization, like what did I do? I categorized. 
Um, now, when we save that, we're going to see, oh, look, categories. He's in, in that cemetery. Now I'm going to go back to the category page. I'm going to refresh. And now let's see. There he is. Oh my. Yeah. Now, other very cool thing when you're on any category page. Um, well, this is going to do this for me. So, um, but let me do it for me. So here are all my connections to the people in the cemetery. Um, um, Mary, what is your, what's your ID? Polar 25. Okay. I'm going to change it for you. Okay. So see, it's showing all four generations. There's Morgan Hayes. And you know, well, it's, it's a long way from four to 23 generations, but, um, you know, this is a good way to to maybe find find some family that you didn't know about, but they were buried in, you know, a cemetery used by your your family. So those are actually potential relatives. Could be, yeah. Why don't we look at one of those? Um, why don't we look at the twenty three generations one and see how the what the connection is? Sure. So good idea. Um, so we're going to Elmer. Um, yeah. Nebraska. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, again, it's going to do my connection. I'll change it to you in a section, second, Mary. Um, so there's my 17 degrees. Oops. Um, that's not too far. Um, and then for anybody else, we just want to, well, isn't that handy that our names start the same, Mary? <laughs> Co 25. Okay. 20 degrees, but, but only two. So the, when the color changes, that shows you that there has been a marriage. And, and so, look, yeah. Look at the alternate uh, generational path. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. I, f I find this one a little bit confusing, but. Oh, yeah. I, I Yeah. So let's see. So that means this, these are all blood, blood, blood relations. And then there's the marriage yeah. to another blood relation. And then because this almost looks to me like there are two, two marriages. Am I? What am I missing? Yeah, there's, well, yeah, yeah, there's did, Jemima and, and Bill got married. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not seeing everything. Right. Jemima and Bill, yes. Now, see, oh, John, okay. John and Joseph were, were, were siblings. We're about brothers, so that's a blood relationship. Okay. Right. So, so now you go down to Bill and yep. over to and over to Jemima. Mm -hmm. Yep. But... Bill is not William Banning's father, it seems. Mm. Oh. So there's a step relationship. Wait. Um, because, well, isn't it just an in-law relationship? Because Bill married Jemima. Yeah, so Bill is, is, is William Banning's stepfather, right? Uh, son-in-law, wouldn't it be? Because William Banning oh. was. So Bill Banning's Bill Banning's mom is Jemima, and Jemima oh, has yes. a husband named Bill Peck. Yes. But Bill okay. Peck isn't William Banning's father. Right. Right. So William Peck is a stepfather of William Banning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I mean, I, I guess it depends which marriage came. Oh wait, no, Bill Peck died before bill banning ever came up so he's not a, um, no he's not a stepfather or perhaps it's a stepfather who died before the pair before that the uh banning is the child of the second uh right but he, he never achieved he spouse. never achieved stepfatherhood because he died mm -hmm. true 
So he, like he never technical was technical stepfather, but not, but never actually by relationship because he's dead. Because right. they didn't know one another. But was, that means the relationship is still there. Yeah. I mean, for purposes of connection, finding a connection. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So Elmer, we have to go backwards. His father, his father, his mother, her father. Then we get to William Banning. And then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just have to go slowly and, and think about what direction you're going in, <laughs> I guess. Um, so um, now in terms of, I take it you have not found a death certificate, right, Mary? Right. Right. So one thing that I would recommend, um, and this is more falls under research practice than, than sort of wiki tree, but if you just go to Nebraska, vital records um let's see i might if you can hear family search has a really good wiki um on a lot of locations the states countries um and what you want to figure out is when did they start keeping records when did they start requiring records in that state and when did people really start complying? Because you you don't want to knock yourself out if it, if you know let's say he died in 1905, but compliance wasn't universal until 1915, right? So right. yeah, just I would just uh, you know look there. Okay, deaths. Oh well, deaths were were in. So you yeah, that's borderline. You said 1905 to 1909. So maybe you can find it. Um, and you don't have to order it. You can actually find it online. Well, you might be able to, to find it. Um, now, here's the other thing. Let's go back to, there we are. He has, a, he has a family search profile. So I think that it's worth it to go there. Oh, wow. It's got 14 sources. I know. Exciting. Love yeah. to so let's look at his sources. But are they good? We'll find out. <laughs> That's right. And there's the 1870 census. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go down a tangent here. Do you think now you would want to look at the real record? But just based on this, Morgan Hayes, 47. Does this look right? Um, yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. Um, so what you would do um, is you would take, remember back on the Wikitree profile, we just had 1870 census bleh, and that, nothing. So we can copy this citation. Sometimes there's a nice little copy citation button, but now- That's only when you click on the- uh on the link to record and go in there. That's when the link yeah. uh, copy citation thing pops up. I like that. There, okay. Copy citation. Oh. And now I've got it. Let's go back to Morgan. Um, edit. And now we can replace this. Oh, there's another, let's see. Well, you know what we can do? So this is this is the other kind of way to source. Um, Mary has done inline citations very nicely. Um, and then you can also have these bullet points, which would go below sources and the references tag. So I'm going to replace this with that. And um, I mean, if you're if you're not, you may at some point, Mary, decide to write a more significant biography. And, you know, you may say in 1870, he was living in this place and um, he had uh, he was married and he was farming and he had these children, as shown by the 1870 census. And then you then you could make it an inline citation. But but right now we're not using this to cite any facts. So, okay. so I'll show you, um, I've added a, well, I've sort of, I don't know, I've added a source, I guess. Um, so now you'll see that we have both inline 
and this one bullet point citation hanging out, and that's okay. So I did find his um, um, arrival into New York and the list with the children and his wife. So I, I put that in the biography and mm -hmm. I've seen different ways of doing it. Do you just list the kids or what's the best way to do a table or, or <laughs> with their birth dates or? Yeah, that's a little bit personal preference. Um, or if you're in a project, some projects have, you know, their sort of style guidelines. Um, I don't tend to do tables, but Murray, what do you do? Um, I like lists and I like to have the lists down in the sources. So what, what I do, Mary, is, is um, I'll, I'll, I'll state a fact and, and, then I'll, uh, and then I'll do a citation. And in the citation, I'll have, it, it might be for a census, it might, you know, for, for any number of different things, but, but typically there, there'll be a set of facts that go with the citation. And you might not put all those facts in the paragraph that you're, you're citing that you're attaching citation to. So it, so in the sources, I'll, I might have a list of people, right? Like like I said, from a census, you, you have everybody in the census. And I, I prefer to use the list because to me, they're easier to edit. Um, but but um, the, the Wikitree browser extension has added a table editor now, and people are starting to, to use the tables more. And as, um, you know, as Betsy said, the, the it, it's really a personal preference. And um, you, you should look around Wikitree a little bit and see how other people make profiles and, and see what you like. And really, you know, I don't know if you've, if you've heard the kids saying this a lot, represent, you know, you want to, you want to think about how you want your family to be represented. Mm -hmm. and, and it doesn't really matter how other people think they want to represent their families. What matters is how do you want to represent yours? Okay. And if you want to use tables to represent your family, use tables. If you want to use lists, <laughs> use lists. Right? Right. And then for one of my branches, I've linked into somebody else who's taken it way back. And Ooh. I found stuff that they don't have on there. Do you go ahead and edit their stuff? or I, um, I First thing I would do is I would reach out to them. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, on any profile, say, say somebody, um, you know, you have a distant cousin who's like, oh, Morgan Hayes is my second great grandfather of two. So they would come here, they'd see, oh, Mary Kohler is profile manager. And then they can send you a private message. Um, so that's, that's what I would recommend um, and say, um, we seem to be working on the same family. Can we collaborate? Here's what I have. What do you think? Um, your other option, like, again, if I were coming upon your profile, um, you could leave, you could leave a comment. Oh, um, and that, that would, um, so you could go to that person's, uh, maybe the relevant profile and leave a comment and they'll be notified. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mary, learning, learning the, the, the social practices of Wikitree is, is a big part of the whole effort here, right? There, there's there's a lot of us working on the tree and we're, we're all trying to get along. Um, and sometimes, you know, we rub each other the wrong way a little bit, but there are, you know, there are practices that you can do that to, to make things easier, right? And so, right. yeah, sending a message, leaving a comment. One thing that I found is um, you can work your way into a profile by, by doing good things performing good deeds. So for example, if you just go in and add a bunch of sources, just good solid sources and just drop them in and then step back and see what happens. Does anybody react to that? Does anybody come in and add a paragraph to go with those sources? You know, what happens? The other thing you can do is look at the change list and see, right. you know, if other people are working on this, how often do they work on it? Did they work on it five years ago or did they work on it last week? Oh, so, right. let, let, let me let me look at now. Here's another feature that I think every, it would be helpful for everybody to know about um, is let's uh, let's go to a random profile. So I'm under find and random profile. OK, Ooh, looks like we're in Scandinavia. Yes. 
Uh, yes, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so um, look, we have a profile manager when we have changes. So one thing what Murray's referring to is going here and we can see that no one's touched this profile since it was added over a little over a year ago. So that's that's one piece of information. And then um, the other thing is we can go to the profile manager's, um, prof their profile and see how recently they've been active. Okay, so this person has been active pretty recently. You know, that's a good, good indicator. If someone hasn't been active for like six years, you know, they may have moved on from Wikitree, but. Okay, that helps a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Um, other questions? Should we open it up to everybody? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, what what uh, what questions can we ask for answer for everybody else? I have a question. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I found I think that we're possibly possibly duplicate um, profiles. Okay. And I wasn't quite sure how to handle it. So I did a, um, I think I did a uh, unmerged match, but then I put a com, I sent a message to the profile manager mm -hmm. uh, on both of them. And then I did get a response back and said, when I, re when I locate them, I should propose them as a, uh, as a merge, not as an unmerged match. And I think I'm confused on what that means. Um, could you explain that? Yeah. Um, do you know do you know what the profile ID is of the um one of them is uh let, let's see. Um it's in here. McFarland M C F A R L A N C McFarland 2249. Okay. Uh, is that the right one? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, I think if you scroll right down, yes. you might. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. And there's from you. And the other one is 2249. Mm hmm. And did you hear? Let, let's just go to. Uh, all right. 2249 is yours, right? Yes. So now let me go to the other one. Okay. Um, and and I didn't enter either of them. They were already out there. So I was just, I'm a direct descendant of John McFarland and I noticed yeah. there, was, there were two, so. Um, right, okay. Um, so, well, Hmm. It looks like you need to have a three-way conversation with, oh, this is managed by a project. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's why I, I was a little nervous on what to do, but I knew I needed to flag it somehow. <laughs> sure, of course. Okay, third of December. And did you go down here? Let's see. And I see pending match. I did. Yeah. I, I did the unmerge match and she undid that, I think, and then did the pending merge instead. Yeah, an unmerged match. You know, I I need to learn what that is exactly. And I mean, it unmerged. Sometimes profiles appear to be duplicates, but you're not certain. More information is needed. Uh huh. Setting the two profiles as unmerged matches will remind you and others that there is information to be worked out. Unmerged match is a temporary state. Use research notes and profile comments to discuss the open questions. Okay, but you said you feel that you have evidence that they really are the same. Uh, yes, and um, but that's what I originally did was an unmerged match. But the person that responded to me said that they should have been done as a um, proposed 
merge, yeah. a pending merge instead. Yeah. So, um, if so it's, she's, she's saying they are in fact the yes. same person. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And now, and uh, now what we're waiting for um, is I wonder if the person who responded to you is a member of the Southern Pioneers Project. Um, and perhaps waiting, we're waiting on a response from Tammy Rich. Yes. And so if there is a guideline in place, if a profile manager does not respond within 30 days um, about a match, then the match can proceed. If both profiles are open, which they are, they are both open profiles. So you made the request or she changed it on October 3rd. So by November, no later than November 3rd, you should have a resolution to it. Okay. Okay. All right. I just wasn't sure if I did, uh, you know, did I do something wrong or, um, you know, I, I felt like I maybe did the right thing and I got some, uh, a response on it. So yeah. I just want to know for next time that if yeah. I'm, no. I'm doing the correct thing. Okay. You you did the you did the right thing. And you know, I don't I don't think you can ever go wrong on WikiTree with just polite communication. Just communicate. <laughs> and okay. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, do we have other questions? I have a question. How are the numbers assigned? Because I noticed that. Um, Linda's had a, a lower number than the other profile. So does that mean the other profile was added later? Yes. After she yes. And when the merge happens, they will both go under the 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 ID with the lower number. Yeah. And who will become the uh, profile manager when they're merged? Um, generally, it's both. Um, so okay. would both Southern Pioneers Project, WikiTree, and uh, and Tammy Rich. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I wonder, so this is the person who, who applied to you, Dar Darlene? Yes. Yeah, I yes. wonder if she's on the, if this is your um, direct ancestor, you might want to Join the Southern Pioneers Project. Yeah. If you look at, if you look at Darlene's profile, you'd see her badge if she has it. Yeah. Well, I can, I'm on the on the profile project profile page, and she. No, but I, if you go to Darlene's page. Yeah. Then okay. maybe she'll have a badge for the Southern Pioneers Project. What? A badge. Yeah, there it I, is. Where? Okay. Uh, go back down. Uh, in the profile, it, it's a sticker. Uh, right below the Kirkland name study. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Oh yes, she is. Yeah. Or I guess the Southern Colonies, but it is pioneer yeah. era stuff. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And um, I realized that we we went down a tangent. What I just because uh, I we we got I got excited by finding the uh, the 1970 census, but um, Murray also noticed oh, 14 sources. Um, and so you know it's worth seeing. Um, looks like here's a later census. Here he is um, listed in maybe marriages of his children or um and their uh, death record of a daughter um i don't see a death record that's too bad which doesn't mean that it's not out there just unfortunately have... rural counties in nebraska iowa etc are really slow to get to digitizing so that you are more likely to have to reach out and ask for a document. Mm -hmm. That said, if you reach out to a historical society, yeah. uh, they are 
often more than willing and will often get back to you within a week as opposed to the ones in like New York City, which they have a million emails <laughs> that are piling up to get through. So yeah. it's a win, win some, lose some. Yeah. Great. Can we can we answer any more questions? I have one when we're ready. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Who's... And I apologize. I know things about sources and trustworthiness of sources, but I'm fairly new to the wiki tree setup. Uh -huh. um, uh, so I'll link in the chat the profile that, and it's one of the profiles that I added some sources to during the sourceathon. Okay. Um, you can just give me the ID and then I'll put it on. Screen. Okay. Uh, D. Kreif. So that's uh, D like dog, E oh. space underscore. So underscore. Yeah. Uh huh. K R U I J F F dash 59. Okay. There we go. And yes, they're Dutch. Okay. Uh, oh, I put an extra I in there. I see. Right. Should be D. Mm -hmm. Is that, well, it didn't come up with a profile. K R U I? K R U mm -hmm. I? I J. Yep. I J F F. Huh. I don't know if you need the capitalizations. Okay, let's let's try it. Extra K. Yep. Okay. How does that? Uh, Fifty nine. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay, we just learned that capitalization is important. Okay. Were you on the Flying Dutchman? Yes, I was. Ah, good for you. Um, also, uh, my I also have Decrief family members, but they are not these Decriefs. So uh -huh. I was trying to see if they would actually connect to, if I worked on them long enough. Yeah. Um, so when I was working on this profile, as you scroll down, mm -hmm. you'll notice that I have categories, but the category, but you'll notice that the birthplace, so the yeah. birthplace doesn't have a location category. And I was wondering what the procedure was on, is there a request file for uh, adding categories of that nature? Um, yeah. It depends on, uh, so, so for, you'd have, you probably want to talk to the Netherlands project. So let me, let me tell you about my experience recently. Um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do genealogy in a part of Quebec where there weren't any location categories. And so I contacted one of the project coordinators for, uh, for that project and said, I, I, you know, I want to have some categories and I want to go ahead and do it on my own. So I thought I'd check with you first. And she said, OK, that's great. Um, we need we need a person for each category that you want to create to, to start with. We need to have at least one person. And then they went off and did all the creation process for that category. And poof, I had a category. Now, the thing is, if you're going to populate a category with only one person, it's not much use, mm -hmm. right? So so if, for example, here we're talking about Utrecht, if there isn't already a category for Utrecht, then there's probably not much advantage in you creating one because I imagine that there have been millions of people who have lived in Utrecht by now. And if there's no category already, then probably for, it'll take a well, long time. Sorry? And there, there is for Utrecht, but oh, okay. like Utrecht itself, but that's the equivalent of having one for Utah. Uh, so, yeah. uh, and for the Netherlands, they mostly just go with the space below below that. So it would just be more like adding a smaller section to it. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, as I say, you can you can make a request of the projects, and they'll they'll usually respond to it. Um, sometimes they'll say to you, "We don't think it makes sense," but 
you you can you can argue with them about that. It yeah. never hurts to ask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about for even and is that the same thing with say American small towns? I don't remember which program it was but there happened to be one where the cemetery was added but the town itself wasn't hmm. right and so um so what happens a lot on WikiTree is people make um uh, a place category uh, sorry um a place project right so one place project one so you place, one place study one place study yeah so you you create a one place study and then you you build you, you get you get a category created in the process of that, and you can just start adding people. And I've never done that, so I don't know how to advise you further on that. Yeah, but there there are um, resources if you decide. Let's see. Um, by the way, WikiTree on any page, there's a really powerful search engine, not just for for people, but Search for any text. All WikiTree oh. pages. One place study. And um, yeah, if you are interested in doing that, you know, generally it's going to take you to a link where you can find your way. Um, how how to how to you know who to contact, what to first steps. So, yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Um, and then now, I've heard some of it, but what's the protocol for either conflict mediation or even just, uh, if there's the equivalent of a moderator that you can say, hey, uh, this is a issue that needs addressing, but I'm not getting through to them. I don't feel like we're, we're talking the same language here. Right. Uh, do we reach out? And yeah. we've done the list of, if you have a problem, follow these steps. And we went yeah. through the steps. Right. So you want to go under help to problem with members. And um, yes, as you refer to, um, there's like a flow chart sort of um, list of things um, where you can decide. Um, we have we have two mantras: "Don't wiki tree when angry," <laughs> and um, yes. so, you know, step step away um, if you you feel like you're not in control of your emotions. Um, and and if it's still if you do that. And it still hasn't. Um, you're still upset. Then you want to stop, drop, and roll. Where is, where is I? Where is that section? No, there's, there's steps you can take. You know, yeah. in the meantime, I mean, you can you can start a discussion. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it, I guess it depends on the level of the topic of discussion. But for example, if you're having an issue on a on a particular profile, instead of instead of having all of that discussion through private messages, you might have, you know, say something in a comment. Yeah. Say, you know, I think I think this fact needs to be explored, or I think this issue needs to be explored, and then have a, have that be a more of an exposed conversation because then, you know, other people can see it. Okay. Um, along those yeah. same lines, you can take something to G to G. So, mm -hmm. you know, so for, let me give you an example. Um, so, so as, as I mentioned, I, you know, I, I do some work in Quebec and, in, and, it, and also in Acadia and in the Quebec and Acadia projects have decided that, well, they haven't decided they've observed that women in those areas didn't did not by law adopt their their husband's names and so yeah. it's not so therefore it's not appropriate for us to uh, to make their current last name their husband's name their current last name is the the name that they were born with and and i and i was saying well wait a second 
you know, some women did adopt their, their husband's names and, and, and did want to be called by that name. Or, and, and I, I pointed out an extreme case, I said, there are some women who we don't know their maiden name. And mm-hmm. so the way that we can know them is through their married name, because that's how we know them, right? And they said, no, no, no. If, if we don't know their maiden name, their name is unknown. And you can add, um, you can add, this is a name that they're also known by. You can add their husband's name there. But you can't say that this, this is their current last name, because unless you have some evidence to show that, it's just not so. Now, I still have trouble with that, okay? But we went to G to G. We talked it out. The, 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 the whole audience got to participate in this conversation and say what they had to say. And, and I had to accept what, what the uh, final verdict was. And, you know, so that, that's, a, that's another way of handling things, right? Is to just have mm-hmm. ha- hash it out in public. Ask the council. Yeah, I, I think that's a really excellent suggestion because, you know, I I think when when things are in a, a private back and forth, I mean, it it can be fine, but if if emotions are sort of getting a little heated, um, you know, they can also go awry. Whereas if you're having the conversation out in, in the street, so to speak, um, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, might be better. Yeah. It, it's, yeah, it's more a little bit of the thing of those things that you feel like you aren't saying the same thing when you're text messaging. So you say, okay, fine, I'll just, I'll just call them and then hash mm-hmm. it out that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's one of those situations, but you don't have a phone call. <laughs> because it's the internet <laughs> and so it's just one of those things where it's like i don't know how to handle this but i'll figure it out but earlier we mentioned uh unresponsive people who are in charge of profiles yes yeah when messaging a user about a profile Uh either so for example there is a user who is in charge of my Mm great-grandfather's profile Mm -hmm. and I wanted to at least talk to her about it yada yada I have messaged her a few times no response when is it do I say okay profile's dead did you check um, her contribution feed to see how recently she active currently? I'll look at it again. It didn't look like. I mean, because technically when you send somebody a private message they will get an email um but it's you know i mean things happen with emails there might be a glitch um but oh you know i think it's always important to know how recently the person has been active oh or or, or they may be in that part of their life where they're just not doing wiki tree right now right yeah yep yep they're just too busy now the thing is you know i, I how do you pronounce it is it audrey adri adri so so adri have you have you tried um uh just going in and editing the profile yes it was more that the things like the uh i wanted to make the primary photo the primary a different oh. photo the primary photo mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it was a <laughs> real photo and yeah better crops that sort of thing but you can't do that unless you're in charge of the profile i see oh okay it, have, you, have you uh, requested to be on the trusted list yeah that's the part okay part that i was trying to get a response to but it also you know was a hey how you doing this is actually my grandpa mm-hmm. right, right. Uh, and, and, but so it's not an open profile then you, it's not a it's, it's not a banded like, no Okay, so it's so it's 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 uh, less than 150 years old. Correct. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, I I know that that that's especially when it's your direct ancestor, it, it sort of eats at you, you know, if you can't um, have yeah. your profile, but um, <clears throat> well, well, unresponsive. Yes. Unres you, you can go the unresponsive route and just contact unresponsive and say, look, um, I, you know, I think it's really important that I get a real picture of my, you said your great grandfather. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, I think it's really important. I get a real picture up there. This is not a real picture that's there. And I, I, I want to get this in. And the profile manager is just not responding at all. I've tried yeah. several times and they'll be able to see that, right? They'll be able to see that you tried and, and the, the, that, that you tried over time, right? It's not like, you know, I tried at three o'clock this morning and I tried again at seven and I tried again at, at two o'clock this afternoon and they're still not responding. You know, you want to give it a few days, right? But mm. You know, after you've given it a fair shot and nobody's responded, you can go the unresponsive uh, route, and and hopefully somebody will give you um, give you some satisfaction. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. And again, it's not that I want to show up and hammer people into submission. It's just more like, hey, I know nobody. Yeah. I mean, you you have you have things to contribute to the pro profile, and that's yeah, exactly Andrew, you have just as much right here as everybody else. Yeah. Um, I'm also again the uh, unresponsive profile manager and uh, help. So look, you can. There's there's a whole page um, for yeah. So that that that's what I would do. Um, do you want me to put this in the chat? This specific link. Um. No, now that I know that the search bar yep. is there for the rest of the site, I found the people church bar, search bar, but I did not find the rest of the stuff church uh, search bar, not a church bar. There's two different things. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'll use the search bar. Okay, and good luck with that. I hope I hope you get it resolved mm -hmm. pretty soon. Well. Um, we're, we're, we're a little over an hour, so, um, maybe we should wrap it up here and, uh, but we're back, um, or at least I am on Sunday at 11 Eastern time, 11 in the morning, uh, which is three, uh, let's see, is that right? Three in the afternoon UTC time. No. Um, Yep. Murray, are you are you coming on? I expect so, yes. Okay, great. great. Eight in the morning Pacific time in my time zone. Okay, oh. yes, yep. <laughs> so coffee encouraged. Yeah. <laughs> so um I'm gonna go ahead and um stop recording and then we can say goodbye. So thanks. This was really helpful. Thank you. Some amazing things I never knew. <laughs>